table, we'll have one more drink. Well, howdy. What are you doing sitting there? You're too pretty to be sitting out here in the cold all by yourself. Come on inside, I'll buy you a nice little drink, huh? Warm you up. Please go away. Well, now, that ain't very sociable. Please. Now, you ain't too good to have a drink with me, are you? Don't touch her. Why not? You go away and leave her sitting here all alone. Why shouldn't she have a drink with me? Get away from her. Hiram, peace. Please, just come on. Peace. Say, where are you all from? True life. Some of them true lighters. What are you doing around here? That'd be none of your business. Oh, I guess it is. I don't like true lighters, and we don't want them around these parts. Take your hands off me. You get out of Tombstone and don't come back. You hear me? And if I don't, what will you do? You'll do just like we've done back in Kansas. We'll run you out. Frontier West, men fought over many things. Differences monetary and romantic, political, racial, and religious. Both good men and bad were caught in this violence and sometimes brought to their doom. And often their quarrels became the problem of Wyatt Earp. I, I never see nothing like it, Marshal. I swear, if, if we hadn't afforded him off, he'd have killed Odie. Like the tore out his windpipe as it is. You want to tell me what happened? My husband just got angry, Marshal, because that man spoke to me. Off at a liquor. Try to touch her. She's got no right to do a thing like that. Maybe not. But that's no excuse for you to try and kill him either. He was drunk. Well, sometimes my husband doesn't realize his own strength, Marshal, when he's angry. Do you want to make a charge against him? No. But he'd better make none against me or I'll charge him with molesting my wife. That ain't why he done it, Marshal. They're true lighters. And what's that got to do with it? Well, you heard about them, ain't you? Yes. It's a small religious sect up in Colorado someplace. Fanatics! I've seen enough of them and their troublemaking, and I told him so. Told him we didn't want no part of them around here. Oh, you spoke for the whole town, did you? For some, anyways. I ain't the only one that feels this way. Anyways, that's why he jumped me. He threatened us. How? Said he'd do the same to us like they did in Kansas. He's one of them. He'll do nothing of the kind. We're not going to bring up that old fight again. Now, anybody of any faith who wants to live peaceably in Tombstone can do it. And I'll see to it. You understand that? Now, you go on about your business and stop causing people trouble. If they settle down around here, there'll be trouble, all right. You wait and see. Grant, I advise you to curb your temper. Next time, it could get you into real trouble. Are you threatening me too, Marshal? I'm not threatening, I'm warning you. What he said is true. There are others here who might feel the same way he does. For instance, you, Marshal? I have nothing against any group. Everybody here has the same rights, but I don't like troublemakers, no matter who they are. Come, Selma. You needn't worry, Marshal. We won't make trouble. Wife, you hear me? Kind of late to be traveling, isn't it? 
You got a couple of nice hotels here. Good campsite just outside of town if you're planning on staying all night. Where we go and where we stop isn't any of your business, is it, Marshal? It might be. But you can rest easy, because we're not stopping here. Who was that? A couple of true lighters by the name of Grant. Leaving Colorado? Traveling all this way alone? That ain't like them. They usually stick together. I know. I got a notion to do a little checking up. Town. No more grubbing for a living for me. You mean you finally took my advice and give up on that cow pasture of yours? I didn't give up on the ranch. I sold it. Well, what fool you foist it off on? Fool by the name of Grant. Him and the missus already moved in. You mean that true lighter? Oh, was he a true lighter? I didn't rightly notice. You mean he paid you enough you didn't want to notice? Well, what's it matter anyways? You know what it matters. You're the fool, Elmer. You let one of them in, the whole tribe comes. Taking up all the land, pretty soon there ain't no room for no one else. You know how it was back in Kansas and Colorado. Now all that land ain't enough for them. They're moving down here into this territory, taking over piece by piece, and you helping them. I didn't mean no harm, Odie. I mean, just one. One of them's one too many. Well, he won't stay. What do you mean? I mean, I'll see to it. That house of yours made out of wood, ain't it? And the barns? Now, Odie, listen. They got a right. Not while I'm here, they ain't. Anyways, it's no concern of yours. You got your money. You just leave it to me and a few others that feels like me. You just keep your mouth shut. <laughs> Marshal? Uh, yes, Mr. Bates, what can I do for you? I don't like to say nothing, Marshal, but I really don't feel the same way Odie does about them. I don't think the same way at all. What are you talking about? The true lighters. Now, just because they got different ideas than we do, don't mean there's any harm to them. What true lighters, Mr. Bates? The folks who bought my place up at Cal Creek Canyon, uh, Grant's the name. What about them? Marshal, I think you better do something. Odie's, well... What about Odie? He's going out there today and burn him out.
this is your last chance to get out alive. If you don't come out now, we'll burn the house down around you. You hear me? All right. You asked for it. Rest of you just sit easy. You ain't gonna talk us out of this, Earp. We're citizens of this territory and we say these people's got to go. You got some legal reason he can't settle here, all right, but don't try to burn him out, you'll answer to the law. You're only one man, Earp. You wanna kill me? Because that's what you're gonna have to do. All right. We'll see they don't stay. Nobody will buy from him. Nobody will sell to him, not even food. They sure can't throw much around here. And there won't be nothing you can do about it, Herb. It'll all be legal. You're just talking, Audie. There are not enough people that feel the same way you do about it to make it stick. I'll get enough. And we'll see to it no more true lighters get in here. Nobody will dare to sell to him. Why do you hate him so, Odie? Why can't you live and let live? Ask them that, Marshal. Live and let live. You want to know why I got this hate for him? You heard of the Fraser wagon train? And Jericho Canyon? You want to hear that story again, Marshal? Four wagons of men, women, and kids was trapped and massacred in Jericho Canyon by Arapaho Indian and true lighters! Only a few fanatics, Odie. The other true lighters condemned them for it as much as anybody. That was a long time ago, and it's best forgotten. Forgotten? I'll never forget, Marshal. One of those wagons was mine. And my wife and kids. I'd have been with them, only I was out ahead scouting for water. Uh, I'll never forget, Marshal. I rode back and saw what the Indians did to them. All of them. My wife and... It was men like this Brant that set the Arapahoes on them. Who gave the signal. Men they trusted, men they thought had come to save them from the savages. But they only came to trick them into giving up the fight, and then they... Uh, I'll never forget, Marshal. Now you get out, or you answer to me. I don't care about your law. <laughs> What are you gonna do now? Defend myself. I got a right to. If he comes back, I'll kill him. Hiram. Was it like he said at Jericho Canyon? Was that the way it was? What are you waiting for? You got a more right here than the others. I have a couple of questions. What questions? Why are you here? Apart from your own people. It's almost like you were trying to hide out in this miserable little place. This is no garden spot. You'll never grow your apricots and alfalfa here. And you'll never have your own kind of church here because no other true lighters will ever come here. What is it, Grant? You trying to run away from something? Get out. You've got no warrant and I don't have to answer your questions. I think you do. Why? I don't think your name is Hiram Grant. I think it's Hiram Greener and you're wanted as the leader of the Jericho Canyon Massacre. What makes you think that? I have a reason. You better come along with me. You can't arrest me just on suspicion. It isn't legal. Besides, you've got no charge against me. There's a charge against Hiram Greener. But if I'm not him, it'll be false arrest. I'll take that chance. I do have a charge against you. Attempted murder. You tried to dynamite six men. Defending my home. That'll be up to the jury. Now let's get your horse. <laughs> Drop the gun, Marshal. I won't let you take him. We've had enough of persecution. Drop the gun.
I guess this answers my question. The iron greener, all right. What makes you so sure? I wired a description of him to Marshall up in Denver. He's sending somebody to pick up his trail and positively identify. Will we never be able to stop running? Will they never stop hounding us? It's not persecution this time, man. This is the law. He's wanted to answer for Jericho Canyon. But that's unjust. It wasn't like that man said, was it, Hiram? Hiram, I want to know, is all this true? Did that man say it the way it was at Jericho? Selma, go into the house. I'll tell you, ma'am. It was the truth, all right, only he didn't tell it as badly as it really was. You shut your mouth. For a long time, the true light has believed what Hiram Greener and his men told him. The massacre was all the work of the Indians, and they couldn't get there in time to save anybody. The true lighters didn't want to believe that some of their own people could do such a thing. But you can't keep a thing like that a secret. For one thing, the Arapahoes refused to take all the blame for the massacre. And gradually, people learned the truth. I never did. He told me different. You believed him because he was your husband. Wife, I told you to go into the house. No. I've got to know this. Why do you suppose Greener had to run and hide from his own people? Because they condemned him for it. Today, the true lighters wanted to stand trial for murder in their own court. Get up! What are you going to do with him? Take him up in the hills and get rid of him. No, you can't do that. They'll never find him. Nobody will trace it to me. But it's murder. Murder wouldn't bother him. It didn't at Jericho Canyon. That wagon train came from Kansas. They were the same breed that scourged us and burned us, that drove us out into the desert. It was the Lord's will that they die down to the last generation. The Lord's will, on your orders. Yes, mine, as his servant. Hiram. You call it that, but it was only your own hate. Even your own people drove you out of the church. Hiram, no! Get up. Get on the horse. So you'll silence me by killing me. But what about the others? What about the man that's coming from Denver? He won't know where to come. You did until today. He'll find you. And if he does... You'll kill him too, huh? You'll deal with him and all the others that come after him the only way you know how, by violence. But is that the Lord's way? Hiram, don't do this. Don't. I told you this is not woman's business. Stay out of it. Not this time. Please, for me, don't do this. Do you realize what that would mean? They take me back to stand trial. If what you told me is true, you have nothing to fear of a trial. And if it isn't? Then your soul's lost already. Wife, leave these decisions to me. It's enough for you to know that I'm doing this for you as much as for me. Is that true, Hiram? Don't you know it's true? Have I not been a faithful and dutiful husband to you? Go into the house. Get on your horse. Thanks, ma'am, for trying.
Get down. This'll do. Yeah, it ought to. You plan to shove me off, huh? Dead or alive? How may couldn't sure you're dead. But no bullets. Nothing to say it wasn't an accident. No bullets, huh? Well, what would I be doing way out here? That's for them to wonder. I was last seen with you. Oh, I've got a story to tell them, don't worry about how you took off chasing after some passing hoodlum or other. They won't believe you. They'll find you. They'll discover your hiding place, and at the very least, you'll have to keep on moving. Get over to the edge. Get gone! If they find my hands tied, they'll know. They won't find them tied. Aram, do you think you can really run from ever from the wrong you've done? No bullets, remember? said, Marshal, must have been God's will. So you could be saved and he'd not have another life on his conscience to take with him. I have you to thank for that. And I do. It's the only time in our life together I went against his wishes. She found us not a half mile from the ranch. Just after we had met up with Odie and his bunch. Sorry for you, Mrs. Greener, and so are the people of your church. If there's anything they can do for you, you let me know. Will they remember our people? Any of the good things he did? Well, I can't say that, because he's done a terrible damage to them. I know. He can never be forgiven it, I know. Except maybe by God. And by me. Whatever else he was, he was my husband. And I loved him. Up the country, the old wild west country, he made law and order prevail. And none can deny it, the legend of Wyatt forever will live on the trail.